another episode of Afro Scientific Spirituality. My name is Epe West, reaching you live and direct from the heart of Africa. Today is a very special day. Today we're celebrating the birth of a new cycle of rotation of the Earth along the axis of the Sun. And uh, it's Christmas Day. So I'm having some free time and I decide to do a new video for you guys. Okay. So first of all, I would like to wish you, my viewers, a very happy and wonderful Christmas celebration. Real life pagan Christmas celebration, the origin of Christmas. Okay. So one ego feeder to each of you. Today I want to be reviewing a very, very important and powerful book in African spirituality that cannot be ignored. This is a book that uh, is very, very powerful. And uh, the title of the book is The Great Oracle of Tehuti and the Egyptian System of Spiritual Cultivation. It was written by Ra on Nifra Amen. Ra on Nifra Amen in 1990. This is a book that I would say is a composite re repository of knowledge of the spiritual system of the ancient Egyptians, which are the ancient Africans, and uh, it covers every aspect of Egyptian spirituality and it actually goes deep into the explanation of the real meaning of ancient African spirituality. And uh, it is loaded with a lot of examples and real life uh, explanation correspondence. So, it is not a book that is uh, very difficult to understand. It's a very great book and I will be doing this channel a great disservice if I do not talk about this book in this channel. It's a very popular book in the African Kemetic Society, one of the most popular books and has been talked about a lot. but. I still want to talk about the book because many people need to know this book and many people need to read the book. This is a book that carries the full ex explanation of ancient African spirituality. When I was young, when I was in um, high school, secondary school, me and my friends, we used to joke a lot about um, African spirituality. We used to say that African spirituality does not have a textbook. So nobody can ever understand it. We used to say it may not get textbook. So I want to know what in the apple for that. I want to explain what can you how can you explain something that cannot be explained? We used to joke a lot that African spirituality does not have a textbook. So <laughs> we don't have a reference material. Well, little did I know we are very, very wrong. This book, The Great Oracle of Teuti is can be regarded as the textbook one of the original textbook of african spirituality if you want to understand african spirituality you want to break it down to its various minimum you want to die completely dissect it dissolve it you want explanation you want to know what happens in african shrines what goes on in our spirit houses this is the book you need to read yes it is that deep and is that powerful there have been so many testimonies about this book everybody that read these books always talk that this is not an ordinary book this is a very very powerful book even me when i was my coming when i was coming into african spirituality in the beginning this is one of the books that actually turned me uh, opened me up to know 
the inner workings of African spirituality. Just this book. After I read this book, I was no longer afraid to go into any shrine in a, in a, in Africa. Before then, I was afraid to go into some shrines. I will not lie to you because of the uh, brainwashing that have been given to us in Christianity to make us to be afraid of our own spiritual system. When I see some kind of shrines, you see the way it is decorated outside in a very fearful and scary matter uh, way. Most people who today today will not, will not go inside. Once they just see, they will feel afraid that uh, the devil is inside. There's no way you can go there and you're going to come back the same that some demon is going to attach himself to you and they're going to bring problems in your life. Many people are afraid to go into our spiritual houses because Christianity has bombarded their mind that if you go there, you we have many problems. There will be demons and evil spirits that are waiting to lash themselves to you to cause confusion in your life. So do not go into any spiritual house. It is totally wrong. If you want to know what happens in African spiritual system, you need to read this book. Once you read this book, you will not be afraid to go into any shrine you see in Africa. Immediately you see the shrine, the way you look at it, you are going to look at it in a different way, in a different uh, perspective. And you will be looking at for certain elements of certain compositions that have been used to create that place. So instead of you going there in, in fear and uh, anxiousness, you are actually going there to expand your mind to look how you can be able to even replicate the place because we have certain uh, principles that are used in African spirituality to make those places and the oracle system the main place how would I say the Eden or the heart of every African shrine is the oracle the place whereby they do divination they actually consult the gods the nucleus the place where man and the ancestors or the spirits interface, there is always a spot in every shrine. It can be in front of the DPR or the native doctor where he throws his oracle or spread his divination card. That very spot whereby the interface between the physical and spiritual world or the connection between the man and the spirits meet. That is the most powerful point in the shrine. So this book explains that interface. That's why it is called the Great Oracle of Teoti. It is not an ordinary book. This book is actually a gateway to the spirit, not only the spirit world, to outside the galaxy. When I read this book, what this book did to me was a very powerful transformation. By reading this book, it's like I teleported out of my spirit, left my body, went out of the galaxy and was suspended viewing the galaxy from outside. I was just viewing how things were working in the heads. Until after completing the book, then my spirit came back to me. This is how this book is going to expand your awareness. The book talks about astrology, the greater 24,000 year cycle of the world, the rotation started from very simple explanation from the uh, what you can understand, then it takes you, builds a foundation into the spirit world. So it's a very powerful book that will give you step-by-step -step explanation of spirituality. Most spiritual books that I had, they lack this basic understanding of taking people on a journey from what you know from the known to the unknown. That is how spirituality works. You don't work from unknown to known. You work from known to the unknown. It is a science, a practical science that has foundations that you actually build upon one by one. I have talked about this thing many times in the channel that we see spirituality, real spirituality you study from the known to the unknown. That is how you grow. That is how you evolve. You don't start from unknown. Then you now go to the other. It does not work like that. So this book starts it has 24 chapters. I will go through them briefly. Chapter 1 actually starts from religion. Religion that we have been uh, taught from childhood. So it starts from something that you know, right? Talks about religion, the creation of religion, 
the dangers and the effects of religion, then it takes you on the journey. So you start from something you know. Chapter 1 talks about religion, trance, and the ancestors, the spirit realm. It uh, talks about uh, the three fundamental race of mankind and the principle of geographic continu continuity. So it actually takes you about men, principles of man, and where you can find various races and their minds view, their world view, and their evolution system. That is chapter 2. Chapter 3 talks about the source of the light of the East, the wisdom of the East. Where did it originally come from? The birthplace. You're going to know about that. Chapter 4 talks about cosmo cosmology and cosmogony. It talks about the world, the system of astrology, the cosmos, and the composition of the cosmos, how the planets move uh, around the solar system, and how the solar system moves around the greater uh, solar system. It explains deep into the workings of the universe, the movements of celestial bodies. So you will know that we are actually sitting in a system of, uh, of various galaxies that have been composed together. It talks about the Golden Age, the Bronze Age, the, uh, the how will I say, the Stone Age, and the various Silver Age, and how they move, how each uh, planet move around their solar system. You are going to know about that. Chapter 5 talks about the two great uh, gift realities of being, the subjective realm and the objective realm, the spiritual world and the physical world, how they interface with each other. Chapter 6 talks about the acts of creation and the creation of celestial workers. Talk about the entities we call angels, gods and demons, their classification. You are going to know about that. Chapter 7 talks about the cosmological view of man. It talks about how man views himself in the cosmos, the role of man in the scheme of things of humanity. It talks about the tree of life as the guide to man's spirit or mind. The tree of life, we all know about the Kabbalistic tree of life from Jewish Kabbalah. The Jewish Kabbalah was actually copied from the Kemetic tree of life. Before there were Jews, there were ancient Africans, there were Egyptians. In fact, they came to Egypt to study. That is where they lifted their tree of life and their Kabbalah and they perverted it. So the original tree of life is the Kemetic tree of life. This, this book explains the Kemetic tree of life in its original form and how you can use it as a guide to, for evolution of the spirits how to balance your mind and your spirit, how to rule with meekness and severity, the rod and the staff, they comfort me. Remember the rod and the staff, the crook and the free. The crook and the free is the original symbol of the Kemetic tree of life. So the Kemetic tree of life is the source of all tree of life. So if you want to know about the origin of the so-called Kabbalistic tree of life that the Jews are flaunting around like they are the original creators of that idea. It all came from ancient Africa, it came from Egypt. So chapter 7 talks about the Kemeti tree of life, how you can actually use it to uh, evolve your spirituality. You need to know about the Kemeti tree of life, very, very important. Chapter 8 talks about the three types of man that we have. Mm -hmm. The unconscious man, the conscious man, and the man that is evolving into a deity. You need to know about that situation. Chapter 9, the spiritual cultivation of man. How you can be able to improve and develop your spirit. Very powerful chapter. Chapter 10 talks about the tree of life initiation system. How to actually initiate yourself into the African deity system. How to know the various deities in charge of each, each pair of the Kemeti tree of life and how to do the proper 
initiation to attune yourself with all these deities. There is no need for middleman. Once again, you can do this by yourself and the knowledge is here. For those people that are interested in coming to African spirituality, this is what you need to know. Chapter 12 talks about meditation and ritual, how to do rituals, how to do meditation. Chapter 13, 13 talks about the three stages of meditation process. Chapter 14 talks about uh, the second three stages of the meditation process. Chapter 15 talks about the third and fourth stages of the meditation process. Then chapter 6 actually go deep into the oracles. You want to know the oracle of African spirituality, the real power source, the junction where spirit meets physical matter. The oracle will tell you that. You want to know how it happens, how it works, the mechanics of the oracle. It is all in this book. So you're going to read chapter 16 for that. Chapter 17 talks about the deities of the Middle Eastern. The deities are the ancient Egyptian deities. As in the ancient Egyptian patium of gods, as in Asa, Eru, Sobek, the ones they, uh, they call Isis, Oros, Ampu, Jehuti, the one they call Thoth, the one they call Anubis, the god of the day. You are going to know all the deities, you are going to know their correspondence, you are going to know their functions, you are actually going to meet them. Yes, they are waiting for you. They have been waiting for you for a long time, for thousands of years. You are actually going to meet them in this book. And you will not be afraid of them. And you will become them and they will become you. In fact, you are already one of them. You don't know. You are going to meet them, chapter 17. You are going to see their African correspondence to the Eurasia system in chapter 17 as well. All these things I'm talking about, there's a lot of examples in the book. It actually gives examples with with uh, African spiritual system, real life situation. So it is it will be very clear for you to understand. The book actually takes you on a journey, a journey of the spirit. It actually moves your spirit into the spirit world. So this is not an ordinary book. It's a very, very powerful book that many people have attest to. So you need to read this book. Chapter 18 talks about the oracle, what we call the Metutu, African oracle system, consulting the oracle divination, consulting the gods of the ancestors. In my tribe, we call it Metutu. Metutu, that way they call them for Africa. So you need to know about the Metutu. What this Metutu mean is the philosophical and psychological foundation of the Metuneta oracle system. You want to know the philosophy behind the African spiritual system. You want to know about the psychological foundation, why it works, what makes it to work. You want to know about the spirit, the power behind it. This is inside this book. The Metutu is uh, the origin of the Western tarot cards that people use for divination. It is the combination of the Egyptian, Egyptian deities that was used to create the tarot card. So the tarot card is, is actually a pure divination tool. Okay? In a future video, I'm going to teach you guys how to read the tarot cards as well. I've been planning on doing that so you guys can know how to do your own divination for those people that don't already know how to use the tarot card. So this Metutu, Metutu is the spirit of that tarot card. That you are looking at, that we play all the time, that we use for our divination and readings. So it talks about the Metutu. Chapter 19 also talks deep into the Metutu as well. So you're going to know about it. Chapter 20 talks about the meaning of uh, the combined Metutu, meaning of combined oracle. When you combine all of them together, what does it mean? What does it entail? Then chapter 21 talks about consulting the oracle, how to consult the oracle, how to do divination in the proper way and get accurate results. So this book not, does not only teach you uh, 
explain the spirit world to you, actually teaches you how to become your own diviner, how to become your own oracle, how to become a native doctor. You want to become a native doctor? You want to become a Dibia, a Babalao? This is a textbook you need to read. Okay, it goes into details, explains it for you. Number uh, chapter 22 talks about interpreting the oracle, how to inter interpret it after you have divined it. Chapter 23 talks about meditations and rituals, how to use meditation to do rituals, how to act actually go into trance and perform meditations and uh, rituals inside the trance you are in just by sitting down and doing nothing. You can do rituals in your mind. Powerful rituals. It talks about it. It talks about various types of trance you can go into and how to go into this trance, how to meditate, various vibrations. It talks about the 50 words of creation, the Buddha mantras. It talks about the India, the Hindu's connection to all this. So the book is uh, very powerful. Okay? Number 24 talks about how to meditate, perform a ritual, go into details. So you really have all the tools to become a powerful spiritualist in this book. Actually, the book has seven volumes. There are seven. Because when you wrote the first one, it was so powerful. People were requesting for more. They want to read no more about African spirituality. So yeah, we have meditation volume 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I have read volume 1 to volume 5. But uh, I will still say that volume 1 is the most powerful in all. The rest ones, we have good books. They actually go, they actually go into details, into various aspects. But if you want to have this holistic overview of African spirituality, the oracle system, I think for one part, a very powerful punch that once you read this book, it's this is a book that is going to upgrade your operating system with uh, the knowledge and the power of African spirituality, the oracle system. That is a very, very powerful aspect of African spirituality that you need to know. You need to have this knowledge. This is a book that actually takes your spirit from your body by reading it. It will naturally tear your spirit from your body and show you the world. You are going to see the world in the highest of you, a date in your real highs, the highs of your greater self. Then, by the time you come back to your body, you will totally be a different person. You want to know about the African spiritual system, the oracle system. You want to get accurate explanation or better explanation. This is the book that you have to read and it's here for you and uh, it is fortunately you can get it to download free on the internet you can also buy the book in Amazon because it's a book that you really need to have a copy to put in your library this is a book you want to give to your children give to loved ones very powerful book that you go to from time to time so you need to have your own copy. It's not a storybook, it's not a fictional tale. It's a book that was written to explain the, the workings of African oracle system. So by reading this book, you will understand how the ancient Egyptian oracle system works and uh, you can actually practice it and you can use it to do so many things. This is a book that really changed my life and I've changed the life of thousands of people. Everybody that reads this book, they always say that this is the book that took them into Africa spirit, that really have the grand explanation of the spiritual system of African spirituality to them. So it was when I read this book that I knew that yes, what might actually confirms many of the things that I have known but I have not have any evidence to prove. The book came with a lot of evidence to prove so many things, to validate many things about African spirituality. So this is a book that everybody must have 
if you're really serious on this path, this is a book that I recommend for all my students, everybody that want to learn African spirituality. You must read this book because it will give you the deep explanation of how our spirituality works and uh, how you can be able to use it, how you can be able to approach it and how you can understand it. Our spirituality is not based on hocus pocus. It is based on pure science. And science has to do with scholarship. Something that can be validated and you get the same simulated and you get the same results. So, you want explanation of how the system works. You have it now. You have the material on your laps. You have access to it. There is even an audio book. In case you cannot read, there are a lot of audio books on YouTube about this very book. You can play it and you will get the message, you get the explanation. So it is something that is very, very popular, very, very powerful, written by a very great man, Raoul Nufera. Very, very intelligent man. He has done so many things for the African Kemetic uh, Society in America and all over the world. He is the founder of the Asset uh, Asa Eru Society, very powerful Kemetic Society. And uh, He's also a very intelligent man and he speaks and writes the Middle Nature, the uh, ancient Egyptian language, which the Westerners call hieroglyphics. He's a very knowledgeable person. You need to check him out online, find out more from his channel and his seminars, and uh, read the book. So I'm very happy today. Uh, that uh, I've been able to tell you guys about the book. You need to know what is inside this book. You need to know what goes on in the cosmos. You need to know about the various spiritual plane of existence. You need to know how to assess these planes and most especially you need to know how to meditate properly and how to go into trance. Very, very important. And how to do rites in your mind and most especially how to do divination, how to divine. You need to know the various spiritual components that are placed together inside the African shrine. So when you go to any shrine or visit any devious by looking at the altar, you will just be seeing all the components and you will know their functions automatically. You will know why this is placed here. Looking by my video, you see me putting an inset. Sometimes you see me putting a candle and the music on the background. A good spiritualist will know the combination of what I am trying to do. When you get to somebody's altar by saints, various elements, you see elements representing fire, you see water represented, you see the earth represented, you see spirits. You know by bringing certain components together and by uh, creating a certain kind of atmosphere, you are trying to generate a certain kind of spirit or energy in the place. So you just discovered that the uh, altar system is like a motherboard whereby you have different devices that are like plug and play. So the deities that you put in or the deities that is there is like plug and play. You can actually take out some things, you can rearrange, you can have your own inputs into it to give you the kind of results you want. So that is how uh, African altars and shrines are basically arranged. So when you go to all these places, you want to see about the component parts, you can be able to know more about the place. And you can also enhance or describe or maybe do anything you just want to do with the place. So you need to have an understanding, certain understanding and this book explains you, give you the tools that you will need to be able to do that, to have that knowledge, to be able to rearrange, redesign, modify um, African spiritual, spiritual altars. And they will give you that power to be able to create your own devices and uh, how to do your own meditations. So this is a book that is a most read book for every serious person interested in African spirituality. Okay, it is highly recommended. One of the top of the list uh, of my list of the best books 
in this channel i only bring the best books i only talk about the most serious topics the most powerful stuff in african spirituality a book that does not cut it i will not talk about that kind of book in this channel i will only bring you the best and what you can actually use to improve your life and empower yourself and it's easily accessible something you can actually apply not something that will be very difficult for you to to obtain so you can share the book online try to download it listen to the ebook get the information get the knowledge get the power and start changing your life and changing your reality with it so this is what i have for you today questions and comments are welcome as usual like and share this video and i wish you a very wonderful happy christmas i will see you in the next video